have an absolutely huge tip for you today that is going to significantly help you defend bunch. It's going to help you defend really any solo uh, trips type of formation in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day. And today I'm really going to hammer home a concept that I really believe in out of the cover four defense, cover four match defense. If you don't know, I have a full ebook explaining how every match coverage works against every major predominant formation in this game, how it works against gun compression, how it works against gun spread, bunch, trips, U trips, trips tied in, uh, bunch tied in, tight slots. All of that stuff is broken down in our Patreon membership. So if you want to get access to that, the beauty of that is it's going to get you access to all of my Madden 22 strategy guys, including my match defensive ebook. In addition to that, we're also going to give you weekly pro tips and meta updates to kind of keep you abreast of the latest tips and tricks that are running rampant in the competitive community. And so if you want to sign up for that, you get unlimited access to the whole membership for just $10. I'm going to put a link in the description below and you can go check that out um, if you would like to. But I'm really, really excited to share this with you today. This is something that I personally struggle with a lot. Um, and it really is something that I honestly had no idea it was so simple to change um, in this game. But it's going to have how you can help you from getting bombed in match coverage and really also specifically will help you a ton with any kind of route from the solo receiver in a trips formation. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I mean like a formation like bunch or a formation like um, Y off trio week. You're going to notice we got three receivers to one side of the formation and then we have a running back and a backside uh, receiver. This is kind of the idea. And this is a very popular formation style, right? I mean, you see this a lot out of bunch, of course, the no most popular offense in this game. But you also see this from things, like I said, like why off trio week, um, or they'll motion to stuff like this. So they'll, they'll take their doubles guy and they'll motion him across. Um, this will help with like U trips um, and any of that stuff. So um, I'm just going to go through uh, a couple of key routes that we're going to look at. So the first one is we're going to look at a post route. That is the most popular route that you're going to see. So I really want to break that down first. And then the second one was we're going to look at is a smart route at end. And then if we have time, we'll take a look at Y curl um, and of course a fade as well from verticals. So those are the main things that I want to cover in this video. Really excited to break this down. So um, you're going to notice here, I'm in the San Francisco playbook. The nickel normal is, I just love this defense because it has every major coverage, every coverage combination you can think of. You can also create some of the best pressure in this game from this formation. So if you want to get my full nickel normal ebook, that's also included in our Patreon. Like I said, you get everything for that by just joining that in the description. But we're going to look today, um, we're going to start the video off by taking a look at the cover four quarters. Um, this is also the same coverage principles that you're going to get out of the cover four show two in the nickel 335 wide defense, uh, which I really like that coverage as well. Uh, and I really like that formation as well. But big thing that I wanted to show you right off the bat that I think is really interesting. So if you, this has been a problem since match coverage has been put into the game is the press animation out of match for whatever reason can be a little bit problematic and I'll show you why. So let's just say that I run the play for verticals and I streak this player. You're gonna see that he's gonna get instant separation over the top and I can kind of lob this. Now, in this example, I've got a really fast receiver, but the big thing that I wanna show, and, and I might need to be on the other hash to show it, but the big thing here with this is, is we're gonna really see it more in, you know, in like our, our post, post route time but the big issue here is that this guy can get this kind of free inside release and as soon as he gets an inside release in this game as it's been for years this can be a really easy user catch over the top okay now it's also really good for routes like in routes and routes like post routes and i'm going to show that real quick and to illustrate this we're going to use the play verticals so that we can get this guy out of the way but it's basically the same concept from bunch trail and what you'll see here is I'm going to get an inside release to my player. And you're going to see that that inside release is going to give him a really good chance to get over the top of that. And I can even do, you know, kind of crazy swerve catches and stuff like that. To me, that's a major issue. And it's because what happens is they can kind of begin to rely on their solo receiver. Um, they can throw that route. They can also go to flood and they can throw this dig you know, to that player just like that, an aggressive catch it in your corner 
is basically out leveraged okay and so what we want to do it's a real subtle thing um, but it really is very helpful for this we're just simply going to do a couple there's a couple different ways you can do this but just simply shade your coverage inside and what that should do is give your corner the inside leverage now you see that I have inside leverage now with inside leverage they can't throw that route that is so effective against cover four quarters it's literally the easiest thing in the world literally just simply shade inside that's all you have to do and you'll notice that this guy on the outside he'll never give up that he'll force him to the corner to the boundary side and when he does that it significantly helps his chance at being able to guard a post now this also it, it doesn't exactly stop the in route but it does make it harder and i'll show that real quick so uh this play flood you see here he actually still gets an inside release i'll show you another way that we can kind of combat that inside release thing here in just a second there are multiple ways to do it but essentially if you if your corner can can kind of hang out inside and force that route outside there's not a lot of routes in this game that can be you know very effective against that okay so I'll show it again here here he does get another inside so i'll show you another way that we can kind of get that inside leverage um on him in routes are a little bit harder to guard than uh skinny posts in my opinion but shading inside is kind of the the easiest way to just immediately be able to stop the bunch trail post route really effective um re really really effective for that okay now the next thing that we can do is we can actually individually do some adjustments so what i like to do with this is we're going to man up our solo uh, wide receiver with our number one corner basically that's what he's already doing anyway he's in man coverage on him anyway so we're just going to go ahead and automatically just come out and hot route him to man coverage on that player and then what we're going to do is if you look here we can go individual adjustments we can click that coverage on mike evans and we can shade him to the inside so you see how my corner literally moves inside okay now what that's going to do is if we go to flood and i'll show the press here in just a second but if we go to flood you're going to see that he's going to have inside leverage and he can drive on that route a little bit better than he could um, in the in the previous example now if we were to press our coverage just like this and then do those same adjustments where we man up Mike Evans with the solar corner and then we look we shade inside notice he takes two steps inside of that player right um, and what you'll see here is he still gives up that inside release but again he's way inside he's way better equipped to be able to handle that that route and it, it, it's a real subtle thing but man i think it's really really effective and you'll notice that you know again if i sh you can even just simply shade him to the right he won't move unless he's in man coverage but and you see here it doesn't always work right for me see on the bunch trail it still kind of gave him that inside release so to me the the most you know ex exaggerated way to do this is to man him up and shade him inside and what you'll see is if they try to throw a post it's very difficult with this right here to throw it you see how my guy is literally all over the route all the way down the field they're going to need a route running ability even if they have a route running ability in my experience this is a very effective way to handle the skinny post route from the bunch solo receiver simply by shading him inside is really going to help a lot of the things that people do now unfortunately um you know we can't quite completely lock down this this in route um you can some but again you know the big issue with this is if this guy was just you know again got that inside release really trying to shade inside really get that inside release even moving him a little bit now watch how watch him defend this you see how much better he defends that route okay whenever we're shading him inside and even if we take a just to go as far as to manually move him inside it is helpful and um you know it's a, it's a simple it's a simple thing that we can do to to, to kind of handle this so again we're going to man him up we're going to shade him inside and then we're going to even go as far as to shade i'm going to do everything we can to get inside of the in route you'll notice the in route is still going to get that inside positioning but he will kind of jump the route a little bit better obviously we have some other coverage of course but to me this is one of the best keys for your man coverage um and really uh, really for anything you know and again if you were to just a thing i want to leave you with here 
is if I was just to man him up and shade inside like this, notice that he moves still, so you don't have to do the individual thing. The problem is it does change some of the other zones on the field, which is not a big deal. But what it does is it see how it still gives him that, that coverage, and you see how good that is against Bunch Trail. I mean, you basically can't throw the post. And, you know, and a fade is, you know, it's not really that open, especially if you have a good corner out there. And then the last thing that I want to show you is this route from, uh, from Y Curl. Uh, and I'll show you how that looks real quick. So the route from Y Curl is an inside cutting route. And again, as long as we can keep our inside leverage, we're going to intercept that or we're going to have an ability to hang with that. So this really limits the routes you're going to get from a solo wide receiver that's going to hurt you. Really, the best thing that they can do is run an in route to get that inside leverage. Um, but by and large, I think this is a very helpful adjustment when we're talking about defending a solo receiver out of uh, quarters. Actually, you know, honestly, any any um, man coverage, any whatever, the shade inside forces the ball to be thrown outside and you have a guy that's in position to be able to hang with that route. So just wanted to give you that little subtle tip. You can do this um, you know, in your man coverage if you want to, but I think it does definitely apply significantly so to the match defense because the really important thing with this is that you're not giving up an outside release. If you can make, or a, an inside release, if you can make them have to release outside, it really increases your chances at being able to play solid defense on the solo wide receiver. I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch the video. And like I said in the beginning, if you wanna learn the entire match defensive guide that I have in our Patreon, it's only $10 to sign up and you get access to everything that is available in the Patreon, over 22 offensive and defensive strategy guides. In addition to that, like I said, we have weekly videos where we break down pro tips and little meta updates that can kind of keep you abreast of the competitive Madden community and what is going on um, at the top levels of the game. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you guys next time. If you want to take a look at the Patreon, it's linked down in the description below.